Hey, today I want to show you one easy bass line that literally works in any genre or style of music. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here, and can you believe it? This is YouTube lesson number 221 on the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel. So I would love to ask you, if you enjoy this video and you get value from it and you become a better bass player, please make sure you hit that red button, which is somewhere around this video, so we can keep growing this channel. So today I'm gonna to show you this super cool and very, very straightforward bass line that I call the three note chromatic transition. Now don't worry if none of that music theory makes sense, I'm gonna show you in really simple terms how this bass line works, because the chances are you've probably heard it time and time again. And it works in so many genres or styles of music. So today I'm gonna to show you how to apply it in the styles of blues, rock, and jazz. But before we hit the lesson content, I want you to know it's a completely free PDF where you see everything we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. The link is in the description below. So the three note chromatic transition works across one of the most important and the most common chord sequences you'll find across the whole of music. Now the technical name for this is chord one to chord four, but let's put this in really simple terms. We'll do this in the key of A, and so going from chord one here would be an A chord, going to chord four would be a D chord like that. But don't worry, if you're not into music theory, what I want you to do is just look at the shape that it creates on the neck. This is the most important thing. So we get the A there at fret five on the E, to the D there at fret five on the A string like that. And we can move this around the neck. We could be going from a G chord to a C. We could go from a C to an F. We could be going from a D to a G like that etc etc. Now the three note chromatic transition is all about linking these chords together. So let me play it to you in isolation so you can hear what it sounds like. And I'm sure you've heard that before. So how this works is we are going to start on the A chord and then we're going to think of our D chord here as our target note. And what we're gonna do is we are going to approach this from three chromatic notes before. Now, just to put this in really simple terms, these are three half steps or single frets to lead us up to that D chord. So if this is a D chord, we're gonna approach it from the B, the C, the C sharp, and the D like that. So our bass line becomes this. Get there. But I'm just going to refinger it because I find it a little bit easier to play across two strings. So we're going to play the A to the B to the C to the C sharp to the D like that, starting on the first finger. Like that. So that's the first half of this bass line. Now, what we want to do is we want to come back and we're going to take exactly the same concept here of approaching our target note because we're on the D here and our target note will be the A coming back from three half steps or chromatic notes above. So that would simply be a C, a B, a B flat, and an A like that. So the second half of this bass line would be D, C, B, B flat, A. And now we have the whole of this two bar bass line. So let me play it to you. Now, one more way you might want to think about this is another pattern that we call whole step, half, half, half to get there. So we go from the A, up a whole step, and then we simply go half, 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 and we'll land on the D. Now we can do this in reverse as well. We can go whole step from the D to the C, half, 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 like that. Either way is absolutely fine. Now, the important thing is to put this into context right now. So we're gonna put this across a blues groove. So I'm just gonna simply play two notes on each beat, and we're gonna get this walking style bass line at the end of it, which I'm sure you've heard, which sounds like this. Let's put it with a backing track so you can hear this in context.
So once you've got the three note chromatic transition down in the blues style, let's try it in a rock style. But all I want to do is use those three notes to transition from each chord as a little fill. Let me show you what this sounds like in context first of all. So let's take that apart. So we are playing what I call pumping eighth notes. And so that's two notes per beat, one and two and three and four and. So what I want you to do is play five eighth notes on the root note landing on beat three. So we're going one and two and three. And then we can do that on the D chord, one and two and three. So that is our foundation. Once you've got that down, the next step is to put in the chromatic transition notes here. So on the sixth, seventh and eighth, eighth note of the bar, what we're gonna do is we're going to simply put in a B, a C, a C sharp and a D like that to land us on the D chord. So let me show you that slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So let's look at it coming down from the D chord to the A chord. So it's gonna sound like this. So simply five eighth notes on the D. One, two, three, four, five, landing directly on beat three. And then halfway through beat three, we literally go C, B, B flat, A. One and two and three and four and one, like that. So you can really hear those three notes linking the chords together. So let's play this over a driving rock feel so you can hear this in a different style. So next up, I'm gonna show you how to play this as a funk feel. But before we do that, I just want you to let you know that all of the backing tracks that we're using today are available in what's called the backing track vault. And this is over at ebassguitar.com and is part of the Bass Lab Plus membership. The Bass Lab Plus is my private members training program designed especially for beginner to intermediate bass players who want to take their play to that advanced level. And I show you lots and lots of skills just like the three note chromatic transition, which will help you make progress faster than ever, make learning the bass guitar super easy and fundamentally help you become a better bass player. There's a link in the description below where you can take the Bass Lab Plus completely free for a test drive for 14 days. So let's look at how to use the three note chromatic approach in a funk feel now. So we're gonna take a basic funk groove, which sounds like this. One, two, three, bar. And just like the rock feel, we are going to use the three note chromatic transition to link the chords together as a little fill. But because this is funky, we're going to use what's called syncopation, which is off beat notes. So the basic groove is simply a note on beat one, like that, and then three sixteenth notes. The first one is placed just before the second beat, third beat rather, and then the next two are placed directly on the third beat of the bar and then just after the third beat. So you sound like this, one, two. So get super used to that to begin with. And then we're just gonna play offbeat 16th notes to link the chords together. So we're gonna have this. So you can hear that sounds super, super funky. So take that apart slowly, grab the PDF which comes with this lesson so you can see exactly where to place those notes. So to wrap up this lesson, I'm gonna play you the three note chromatic approach over the funk feel so you can hear this in action. I'll play it a few times round and round so you can hear this bass line. Then I'm gonna break out a little bit and have some fun with it. And so you can hear some of the other bass lines that I would naturally play over this groove. Here goes.
So guys, that's the end of today's lesson. Make sure you grab that free PDF so you can see everything we've discussed today written out in standard notation and tab. Also, don't forget to head over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus and all of the other cool lessons that we've got over there. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com. I'll catch you very soon.